Okay, so welcome to our weekly Bernie Can't Get It Done discussion. I was wa- <laughs> I, I was watching uh, the Chris Hayes show. It's all in. They're all in. Pretty soon they're going to be all done. I was watching it all in with Chris Hayes. And he had on uh, Katrina Vanden Hovel Lemonarton. And uh, mm. from the nation, correct? And uh, so they're having uh, their, their discussion about Bernie Sanders and Chris Hayes back to back. It's obvious Chris Hayes is a, to me, it's obvious that he's more of a mainstream Hillary Clinton supporter ever since. You know, uh, there's something about making a million dollars a year <laughs> and becoming a status quo politician supporter. And uh, I don't know how much money he makes. I'm guessing it's at least. And it's a six six figure, he, high six figures. Yeah, he's got to be, you know. And if he, I'm sure yeah. he does speaking engagements. Where it's he enough charged. that he doesn't want to give it up. Let's yes, put it that way. It's enough to where he he's a, he he argues against Katrina Vanden Heuvel and, uh, and, and <laughs> she's the liberal. She's the Bernie supporter. And so let's just listen to their little our argument. Volatile. I mean, I hate the horse race stuff, but in polls, Bernie Sanders is doing better in matchups against Republicans. Right. So she brings up the point that I love to bring up in polls, but he beats Republicans worse than Hillary and. Here comes the rebut. He's winning the independents. Forget the fact that he's winning 74 percent, 18 to 29 year olds. But I, this is a but genuine the, question. This is a real question. There will be. If, this is a real question. He has to preface it. This is a real question. Normally, because I don't because ask real normally questions. Normally, ask bullshit questions. Yeah. So why we why did to, uh, I never? That's a weird way to have to preface yeah. your question. This is a real question. Why? <laughs> Who says that when you're two news people talking to each other? Well, he, he's saying uh, this is a prepackaged thought. I'm repackaging as a question. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. He has an agenda. This is a genuine agenda. question. It, this is a real question. There will be, if Bernie Sanders is the nominee, there will be hundreds of millions of dollars spent to, All right. to say every vote he's taken and to say he wants to raise your tax. He just said the other night on the forum, be, honestly. There will be. So the argument, again, once again, is that Bernie Sanders polls well right now. But they're going to run so many ads against him that he won't pull. And guess, I, I, but if Hillary gets the nomination, they won't run ads against her? What kind right. of an argument is that? That was a genuine uh, well, question. That's a genuine question. This is a genuine question, Frank. Jimmy, only I'm only answering it because it's a genuine question. <laughs> Thank uh, you. I believe that it's a real question. <laughs> but um, my feeling is the difference is, is, yes, there'll be just as many negative ads about Hillary, but I feel like Hillary um, is the more seasoned politician and is so used. She's been going through it for a quarter of a century of negativity against her that she will be better at deflecting it and um, and uh, fighting back again. And also the fact that the public knows Hillary more. I, I think it'll be easier for the Republicans because Bernie isn't as well known. I think it'll be easier for them to portray him as this crazy socialist Jew who wants to uh, take all your yeah, tax but those, money those are, that's, away. Look, Frank, that's... And I don't give a shit, by the way. Like, uh-huh. as far as I'm concerned, like, I'm voting Democrat. I, 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 I'm voting for Bernie to begin with, and then I'll just vote for whoever. I'm not, like, I just care about Supreme Court nominations. But that is the biggest bullshit argument I have ever heard, okay? What is? Uh, Well, one, that sh- she's better at deflecting. Here's a guy who's been a socialist in the Senate for how long? 20, 30 years? But like, not a so, not a socialist in the Senate, not in the um and public he's had, eye. He, not in the public eye the way Hillary has been for 25 years. Yeah, but look at look at the guy who's who's basically standing out there saying what he thinks, which is clearly uh, like he, he's going to get shit from Republicans no matter what he does. To say like Oh, the Republicans are going to paint him this way. Yeah, but those are for people who weren't going to vote for him in the first fucking place, man. Okay, okay. No, no. I disagree. I disagree. All right, all right. So, I, okay, let's move on. There's more. There's another clip. Let's play it. If you look at polling, when you say to the American people. So here, now here's, the, this is the same, almost the same argument he makes, but with a different, little bit different spin at the end. And I'm sure it's going to make Robert and me as crazy or not crazier than the first one. Would you vote for a person who is an ex, okay? Muslim, atheist, gay. So when they do, so Chris Hayes is saying when they do a poll, 
Watch. If you look at polling, when you say to the American people, would you vote for a person who is an X, okay? Muslim, atheist, gay, go down the line, Jewish, whatever. You get to the bottom, you get socialist, okay? All right, look. It, I know I've read John Nichols' great book about no, the, no, no. the history of American socialism. Bernie Sanders. It will be a problem First in the general of, no, election. Bernie. So now that's where I think is complete BS when he says, so if you do a poll and you you say, would you vote for a Muslim, an atheist, or this socialist is on the bottom of the list. That's the one that scares everyone the most. And so don't you understand that he's going to lose because people hate socialists? And I'm going to tell you this. They've been calling Democrats socialists since FDR. So I don't know what this. But what's, Democrats what's, but, haven't been calling themselves socialists. But what's since but, FDR. But, oh. but what's going to make? So what is going to make the difference? It, it, for, they but they call Barack Obama a communist. They call Barack Obama a uh, Kenyan. They call Barack, Barack Obama a Christian who hates America. They call him a Muslim who hates America who loves Muslims. They've called. But every- in that, in those cases, when they say that, they're lying. But when they say that Bernie Sanders is a socialist, they're not lying. When they say he's a democratic socialist, and by the way, we're all socialists. When they say right, Barack, but o- no one is gonna. That's a nuanced, uh, correct thing that you're saying, no one in the, the public is not going to comprehend that. So you're saying the fact that that because even though they've been calling Democrats socialists for 80 years, it's, all it's, of a sudden, it's, as soon as a Democrat, when, wait a minute, as soon as a Democrat also explains to them that we're all Democratic socialists, somehow that's going to blow it for them? Who's going to, li- whoever listens to any politician when they explain something that requires a nuanced point of view or thought. He is a self-described socialist. And, uh, and, and, and as we know, America uh, is, is a combination of capitalism and socialism. It works best when it's a combination of capitalism and, and socialism. Dwight Eisenhower was, was a great example of, 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 of mixing uh, socialism and capitalism, and, and you could name any number of, it's, it's a true thing that socialism has been a big part of our country, but the, I don't think the public is gonna comprehend that when, when those hundreds of millions of dollars of ads come out saying that Bernie Sanders is a crazy socialist who wants to raise your taxes, that kind of shit works. All the people who go to Trump rallies they're all supporting a man who is who is going against their own interest, who doesn't give a shit about them. People don't understand. Yeah, but the, again, the, those are not the people that we're talking about. Yes, what we're really talking about here, Obama voters. Is, we're talking about Obama voters. We're talking about ten, the, maybe ten, maybe ten percent of the voting public is what we're what is at stake here, because basically, mm-hmm. like. 30 to 50% is going to vote one way, 30 to 50% is going to vote the other. That's just the way it's going to be. Right. There is 10% in the middle that that is what the fight is about. And so, you, well, who, like, worrying about what, like, that Trump voters are morons does not, has no bearing on this conversation but at all. The, but the, no, yes, it does, because the general public, who in a general election you have to win over, they are easily manipulated by propaganda. And so you know, and so and what I, I'm saying is all the propaganda against Barack Obama including Hillary Clinton's propaganda in the mm-hmm. primary against him it didn't work. And so those people who voted for Barack Obama when hundreds Bernie of mil- is, Wait a minute. Bernie Sanders Frank. is not Barack Obama. So when as Barack Obama when all those hundreds of millions of dollars were thrown at Barack Obama let me must remember this, Frank. A black guy with a Muslim name. They called him a socialist. They called him a complex. They spent billion millions of dollars to convince people it didn't work even a little. But somehow, well, a white guy who's been in the Senate for thirty years, who everybody likes his ideas, who's just like FDR, somehow it's going to stick with that guy. Yes, it just yes, doesn't. It that's is. just it's illogical. Because it's a different situation. Uh, Obama came along in 2008 at the end of the Bush. It's George W. Bush who made Barack Obama's presidency possible. He came along at the end of it when the previous administration was so horrible that people were ready for a big change like that. And also as a politician, Barack Obama is a once in a lifetime, uh, charismatic, unbelievably skilled, unbelievably talented, 
politician. Um, and Bernie, as great as he is as a politician, he's no Obama. Okay, so uh, uh, you're, of course that is a correct point, that he is certainly not as charismatic as Barack Obama. He's not, no. as, he's not as gifted as an orator, but he is inspiring people almost in the exact same way. And he's inspiring young people the same way that Barack Obama inspired young people. Hillary Clinton inspires no one, including yourself. You're just voting for it because you're pragmatic. So I'm saying the situation is a lot more similar than I think you're making it out to be. So I'll say it's well, similar. I'll say those attacks already happened. They've happened every four years against Democrats. They've called us socialists since FDR. And it's about time we start running to FDR instead of running against them. Because let's re I, I, let me remind you, Frank, the last time we not we dem we uh, elected a Democratic socialist president, they had to enact term limits. That's how much people liked right. him. Right. But uh, once again, Bernie Sanders is not FDR either. You know, I you, mean, you he's, know, but, he's, but Frank, a lot of the arguments you're making could be I, I made just against. I don't see him. I don't. But you can I, make that I, argument I, against anybody if, if it wasn't and Hillary Clinton. Also, he's not going to get. Um, uh, I feel most uh, Barack Obama supporters are going to support Hillary over Obama because, for one thing, Bernie Sanders um, has as his uh, black. A surrogate, um, Cornell West, who hates Obama and who says incendiary things about Obama every chance he he gets, um, and uh, you know, and also Bernie Sanders um, encouraged someone he wanted. He thought that someone should primary Obama in 2012. So. I thought somebody so, should primary Obama in 2012. Right, but if you were running for president and wanting to get Barack Obama supporters, if you and wanting to get a you a, a black constituency, which Bernie Sanders can't win without, which Hillary already has, and Hillary was in Barack Obama's administration, um, it's it's just a really difficult path. For Bernie to to uh, to uh, win over those people. All right, Steph, go ahead. You know, I just want to make a quick point regarding you know the him being called a socialist and that being some sort of derogatory term. I really think that's going to be generational. Yes. I think the younger voters won't give two shits about him being called a socialist, and I don't really he, I don't really see that Bernie Sanders. And it would be interesting if he buckles under the pressure of you know a smear campaign and cries like a little socialist bitch. I don't no, think that's going to happen. I don't think happen. he'll do that. Well, here's I the, think he'll if 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 his campaign so far is any indication Ber uh, Bernie will handle himself with aplomb and with great dignity as he has at the debates and he hasn't um stooped to all the mainstream media bullshit that they want him to stoop to right. he's been he's been really great that way but i just i I, I just don't think he's going to win the nomination. I'm sorry. Everybody's right. You're all right. A bunch of goddamn liberals arguing about nuance. Okay, <laughs> that's what's going on here. <laughs> the word socialism carries generations of inertia behind it, negative inertia, and, and, and Democrats have failed the concepts that carry that word. You know, and we've done a terrible job messaging about why we're actually a socialist country. Like that, that uh, Chris, uh, Chris Matthews asking Hillary Clinton if she's uh, defined socialism and Democrat, the, the difference. He's sitting in a firehouse. Or he's sitting in, the, in, a, yes. in, a, in a temple to so socialism, which is right. fire trucks. Uh, you know, the, the social security, the word social is the n first word in our right. most popular social program. So it's a it will be the number one challenge facing the Bernie campaign if he beats Hillary for the nomination. Absolutely. Frank's completely right about that. But I would point out that Bernie, his popularity he only goes up when people are exposed to his ideas. And he's is so consistent on his message that he's grown. Look where he's gotten from where he started. That's why I have uh, hope and confidence that he'll he'll be able to win because Americans, yes, there are those wacky t Trump supporters. They're not going to come over to our side. They're angry. They, they, those people are mad at a system they know is failing them, but they can't diagnose the, the they can diagnose the symptom, not the cause. That's why people support Trump. They don't know. They're being lied to. They've internalized the the uh, ethics of the billionaire class, which is fucking crazy. If you you know, I'm I'm starting to go off into weird territory. Here. And by the so, way, they, they, Trump supporters yeah. as of right now, and is it, that's really only eight percent of the whole country. It's a small, as of right now. Yeah. You know, it's not. It really isn't going to be st statistically significant yeah. until we start getting into. Yeah. 
people people dropping out of races and things yeah. like that. They're like the orange. But, yeah, no, but let me say I'll, what I'll really you, pisses I'll tell me you off something about something else. If in the general, if it's Trump versus Bernie, the mainstream media will favor Trump, and all and most of the they won't mean to, will but they will. Be, will be more favorable to Trump than it will be to Bernie. Which, when I say that, it, it just makes me want to support Bernie more because right. it pisses me off to even think that. But um, but the the mainstream media uh, loves Trump and and they're very skeptical about Bernie, L which is really messed up. Frank, you know what? A lot of this, what this comes down to that really pissed me off about the, this uh, this Chris Hayes clip, and a lot of what you're talking about too, is that both of both of both Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders are bringing a lot of baggage to the table in terms of mm -hmm. what the ammunition is for the Republican attack machine. They're both bringing about the same amount, and it should not be a defining issue in terms of why people are voting the way they're voting. If you if you prefer Bernie's policies, vote for him in the primary. That's what you're exactly. supposed to do. I agree. I agree. But Frank, you prefer Bernie's policies. Um, I I do, but I don't necessarily think that he would be a better. Pre I think that Hillary would be a better president than him, actually, because I think she'd be better at governing than than Bernie.